Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and boys, oh boys, do we have a very interesting comparison for you guys and gals today. Kevin Lavroni, 1992, his very first ever Mr. Olympia event, versus his 2016 comeback to the Olympia stage. Nobody ever, and dare I say, nobody ever will, span this much time between their first and last Olympia appearances so very interesting brings a tear to my eye the dedication that kevin lavroni had hold on a second i gotta take a 20 second spell in my video to weep a little bit i'm just joking guys we don't cry in the videos hey and there's nothing wrong with crying men are allowed to cry i watched prices right the other day and a poor guy a poor guy had holes in his shoes and he won he won the top prize and the tears rolled down his face. Thank you, Bob. He was so happy. But anyway, anyway, we don't do that in our posing. Here's here's the front double. We don't do that in our posing routines. Maybe if you win, it's fine. But anyway. Wow. I can see why you guys wanted to see this one. Kevin Lavroni, just a boy back in 1992. Look at that. He plays second. He gets 17th. In uh, 2016, he's 51 though, guys. Look at the wheel difference. Look at the difference of the shape, the midsection. I myself am uh, just over 40, just over 40. And I noticed your midsection does get wider, gets wider. So he's 50, 51 here. So there's nothing he can do. There's no way that he can get that shape back that he, he once had. But as far as building the muscle back that he used to have, his arms, things of that nature, he did a good job. He did a pretty darn good job as far as conditioning is concerned as well. But obviously the next thing to go, or the first first muscle size is the wheels. And you can see that. Here's the front lat spread. Kevin Lebroni, I think he definitely did a good thing. You did a good thing, Kevin, by coming back and competing. His wheels were already quite down they were never as good as they were back in 1992 now overall he did get bigger but proportionately his legs were never this big his legs might even have been the same size as this maybe even a little inch bigger but his upper body was just exploded in size compared to 92 so that streamlined nature unbelievable and this is a photo shoot yes but this is a fun picture comparison anyway guys it's not meant to Put in the, the history books, things of that nature. Maybe the, the history books for Mark's Max Muscles uh, comparisons. This is probably a, a pretty good one. But having said that, guys, here's the hoo-ha pose. Hoo-ha! Because, of course, I hear people on the, the entire net complaining about picture comparisons, things of that nature. And there's a lot of channels that do them because they are interesting. We're not trying to prove points by doing these. We're just, you know, showing the difference. And you know what? It's a different type of condition, the modern-day bodybuilder. It was exploded in size, and you can see in 2016, he is. He's huge. He's all vascular. But look at that 90s separation. Look at that. Just as depleted as you could get, just sunk down. You know, not overly vascular but just super separated. Super separated. Is that a word? Here's the back shots, and that's what I was saying. It's not meant to be taken seriously. If you know what I'm saying. Obviously, you can't judge this one, but you know what? You can tell his condition was so much better back in the day, and... Glutes and hams. Glutes and hams. His overall condition was pretty good in 2016. For a 51-year-old, it was superb. But when he has that size and maybe a slight edge in condition, it's noticeable. The guy's impressive in 1992. Maybe the best back that he brought. Now here's the rear double. And I know, I know. Don't, don't turn away. Don't turn away. Don't, don't click on Next Strength and Power instead of mine. I'm just joking. Next Strength and Power is a good channel. It's a great channel. But anyway, the separation 
even, I, I agree with some people, you know, you can't tell nothing. These picture comparisons, this is a screenshot versus a real picture, you can't tell. But even you guys would have to admit that you can see his separation was much better. And here is a close-up shot. And this, this is what's so vexing. They had the ability to go straight on, and they had some good, clear footage. But they didn't combine the two. It's tilted thusly and thusly. It's down and to the side. Back and to the left. That's, uh, never mind. Never you mind. And the most muscular ends this one, finishes this interesting, but not meant to uh, be taken seriously. Seriously, boys, comparison. And you know what? Kevin Lebroni, 2016, his chest was big. He had a big man's chest. His delts were full and in. His arms were looking good. Looking good, Kevin. Looking good. And most importantly, he didn't come back with a big double bubble, triple trouble bubble gut. He was very trim as far as the midsection was concerned. And like I said, the width, he's never going to get that uh, V taper, that Victorian waist. Victorian, I was going to say Dorian. What? But his traps are bigger. Look at that. He was doing them shoulder shrugs. Just. Sigmund. Freud, hua. Anyway, yes, Kevin Lavroni, all time, one of the greatest of all time, legends. Kevin Lavroni, 51, 51 years old, so one of the top five in the the 50 plus region. And Vince Taylor wasn't in that video because when he competed his last time in the IFBB, he was 50, not 51. It's 50 plus, guys. 50 plus. Come on, give me a break. All right, I forgot Vince. Love you guys. I don't say that very often, but it's not, not too bad every once in a while. Have a great one.